Greetings, YouTubians, and welcome back to Wayne Sharp World, where today we're going to be taking a look at a big, honking beast of a knife. A knife that makes the 13-year-old Wayne very, very happy. And what we have here is the Artisan Cutlery Proponent. Now, before I go any further into this review, I'd like to thank you guys for tuning in today. If you like what you see, please do me a huge favor. Hit that subscribe button, follow along, and I will continue to bring you the content. Also, very important to note, you saw it in the thumbnail. This is not just a review. This is a giveaway of this knife or this knife. We have two Artisan Cutlery proponents, and one lucky winner will get to select whichever model they want, and uh, I will pay for the shipping and send it your way. Also, very important to note, there's been some idiot spammers hopping on my uploads for giveaways trying to claim that uh, you won the giveaway and you just have to email and pay for shipping and text them or do something stupid like that. Um, if you ever win a giveaway from me... I will never, ever, ever ask you to pay anything. It is completely free. I pay for the shipping. The knife is obviously paid for. There is no cost to you whatsoever. So if anyone, I don't care if it even looks like me and has my brand and all that, if they try and get money from you, that is not me. Wayne Sharp World is not about the money. It's about the people, and when I give something away on this channel, it is completely 100% free. Don't ever forget that, and don't become a victim to some jerk trying to take advantage of people. So, just a PSA. Now, let's get back into this giveaway, and if you haven't noticed, this is a, a giveaway on the same day that I'm giving away an, another knife. So, this channel is becoming a lot more generous as I grow. So, um, if you like free stuff, if you like... Great knife reviews, and if I don't in <laughs> annoy you too much, uh, please hit that subscribe button. Um, I really enjoy all my subscribers, all my viewers, and uh, any support of this channel is greatly appreciated. So now let's get into this. Let's talk about this knife, and first, let's go over some specs on this beast right here. I had to uh, had to go to the gym, get some extra curls in for this one, because uh, this is not a light knife. Uh, now let's go over that. Let's cover it right here, right now. What we have is an overall length of 8.3 inches, a blade length coming in at 3.5 inches, and a blade width at a very wide 1.81 inches. Blade thickness on this guy is actually not crazy thick, a little thicker than normal, but we're looking at 130 thousandths in blade stock thickness. We have D2 blade steel, and we are looking at a pretty gnarly Warncliffe blade with a flat grind, a handle length coming in at five inches with a handle thickness at 640 thousandths. Handle width on this guy is also pretty wide at right around one and a half inches right here. We have a handle material of G10, or you also have this carbon fiber laminate that is not a bad option. It actually looks pretty darn good, too, for what it is. Of course, you know, carbon fiber laminate is, only gets so good. Uh, we have a liner lock locking mechanism with a very nice lockup. And we have a user of a right or left hand tip up carry, a weight coming in at a whopping 9.05 ounces. So nine ounces of knife. That's a, that's a heavy knife. That, that definitely is in the heavy territory to where it's not for everybody, but it's just something you got to consider when you're looking at a knife of this size. Um, designer, very, very uh, good designer on this knife. A designer that I am becoming a big fan of, uh, especially this year. Uh, Dirk Pinkerton is the mind behind this design. And we're looking at a price of $69.99. So, you know, it's uh, it's in that budget category. Uh, the only thing that's going against it in terms of price is it's going up against Kaiser's. It's $69 with 154 cm steel, which in my opinion is a considerably better steel than D2. Um, you know, you got a, just a, a little more bells and whistles, a little better fit and finish. But overall, $69 bucks for this... It's it's not it's not terrible, uh, especially for a Dirk Pinkerton design. Uh, Dirk doesn't design for just anyone, so obviously there's going to be a little markup with his name on it, um, and I have no problem with that whatsoever. Uh, so with all that being said, let's hop in here and take a look at some size comparisons. We'll go with the carbon fiber laminate for the size comparisons, and uh, let's take a look at a couple spider codes here. We have the uh, Shaman as well as the PM2, and as you can see. Um, yeah, it's big. It's just really big. There's not any way around it. Um, yeah, the Shaman's a pretty big knife, and the PM2 is even a slightly bigger knife, and it still is considerably bigger. 
than both of them. Uh, I would say by a half an inch. So pretty big size there. And uh, two more knives that will put it a little more into perspective. Uh, two of the biggest knives I have. This boy right here, the Cold Steel 4MAX Scout. And that is actually bigger than, but I mean, look at it. Even the width, the width of the handle is what's really impressive there. And then we also have the 8010, which is also a big knife, not as big as the uh, 4MAX Scout. But as you can see, it measures up really well with the 8010. And I think that's kind of where, that's kind of the, the range we're in, is that 8010 size range. Massively different ergos though, very important to consider that. Um, the ergos on the 8010 are phenomenal. The ergos on the proponent, we'll talk about them here in just a second. But before we get to the handle and ergos, we got a blade to talk about. A uh, a Dirk Pinkerton Warncliffe that uh, really is a lot, uh, resembles a lot of Dirk Pinkerton. Definitely saw his design language in this blade when I first saw it. Um, and it is just a big slab of D2. Uh, this is a lot of steel. Um, it's like a teenage punk style warny is probably the way I would describe it. It just, it, it makes me think of a teenager that's just getting into knives and sees this and it's like, oh my God, I gotta have it. It's the coolest knife ever. Um, and there, there are some cool elements to this. It just really depends, you know, you, what type of, you know, design language and aesthetics you look for in a knife. Um, it's, it's definitely out there, but again, it's kind of like, it reminds me of, Kind of like a quality gas station knife, and I mean that in the up uh, in a very positive way. But that was the first thing I thought of was a quality gas station knife. And as you guys know, most gas station knives are not quality. Th th this is good quality. Artisan Cutlery makes good knives. There's no question about that. Um, but everything is big on this knife. Even the thumb studs are massive. Uh, the thumb studs are like my God. They're like bigger than a Cheerio. They're huge. <laughs> they are so big and they also take a flathead screwdriver to take them off. Keep in mind that's also worth noting that on most of this body is going to require a flathead screwdriver um, and then it also looks like I'm going to say T8s. Those definitely look like T8s there. Uh, maybe bigger but at least T8s and of course your flathead down here to take the clip off and then another flathead up here to take the main pivot off. So I don't love disassembling knives with a flathead, um, but you just got to be careful, and it usually works pretty fine. So worth noting there. Um, the jimping on this blade is, I wouldn't call it functional, but it does serve a purpose. Um, it's better than it just being slick and nothing there. So you do get a little traction. It's just not like the type of jimping that you normally think of. So take that for what it's worth. As for the edge, you know, for as big of a blade as this is, it's got an edge coming in at 28 thousandths, which is, is average. It's, it's very average. It's nothing special, but it cuts paper just fine. Um, and, you know, you can really get a good grip on this and, and, and make some powerful cuts. So um, you can kind of get your, your finger up here and, and do a good draw cut. I mean, there is some versatility with this knife. It's just if you're okay with this carrying this big of a knife and heavy of a knife. Um, but it definitely has its purpose and uh, it can have some pretty good uses behind it. Uh, going into the handle and ergos, um, you know, really the ergos, I was, I weren't sure about these because, you know, they're, they're flat scales, wide, chunky, um, they're not bad. They're, they're not bad. I, I'm not going to say they're great. Um, they're borderline good, but they're, I, I would say they're, they're good enough to where they're acceptable. I just don't want to make them sound like they're better than they really are because they're, they're pretty average, but they're not bad. If you if I just completely lost you, I'm sorry. <laughs> but as you can see, it, it's a good it's good in the hammer grip. Um, it's also really good. This is probably my favorite grip right here. Just having my thumb on the spine, and you still have a nice full handle on this guy. Um, this is definitely a knife that big hands would love. Uh, it is definitely made for big hands. If you got really small hands, you're probably not going to like this knife. But I would say anything from like medium sized hands on up could could enjoy this knife. Um, outside of that, there's a, ever again, a massive clip. Uh, this clip is like the size of the Protec Sprint. I mean, it, it is a massive clip. I don't have the Protec Sprint with me. I'm trying to think of what I do have. Um, yeah, I don't really have a lot to put the size comparison in perspective here. 
Um, but it is a just a big size clip. Um, but I will say it's a comfortable clip. No hot spots. It works fine. It goes in and out of the pocket great. Um, so functionally and ergonomically, it's actually a really good clip. Aesthetically, that's up for debate. That uh, comes down to what you think about it. Um, I kind of wish it wasn't so satiny, especially with a stonewash blade. I, I feel like a stonewash on the clip would look a lot better. Um, but I do like the way it works with this knife. It does work with this knife very well. Um, even with the placement all the way to the side, it keeps a low enough profile to where it doesn't cause a hot spot on the side of the handle here. That was another concern I had, um, but it turned out to be no issue whatsoever. This clip feels just fine in my hand, so I really like that a whole lot. Um, and the rest of the handle is just, it is what it is. It's, it's, it's wide, it's, it's kind of bulky, but it really doesn't have any hot spots and it's oddly okay. So I don't really have any complaints about it. I just don't really have anything to rant and rave about it for. So take that for what it's worth as well. Now you also have the liner lock here, which works just fine. And since it is a heavy blade, the closing action is pretty good on it. And when you get into the regular action, um, I would say that's definitely the best part of this knife is the action. Um, it's nothing like the detent is, is there. Like the detent holds the blade in really good. Um, you just don't feel it when you flip the knife because it's so heavy and so big. You just like kind of smooth through it, break through it, and, and the blade comes out. But as you can see, nice smooth action. And you can, whoop, I was trying to keep it all in the camera, uh, with a little wrist and just keeping your middle finger like right here and just pushing it. You can very easily flip that middle, uh, middle finger, flip that blade out. You can also just kind of kick it out if you get your finger like right behind it here and actually just kick it out. You can do that as well. And that actually feels even better. It just takes a little more precision of where you place your middle finger. You can kick it out pretty good. So an odd amount of fidget factor in this knife. I'm not going to say it's like a fidget beast. But it's pretty good. It really is pretty good. This knife is kind of sneaky because you look at it and you're like, oh no, it's it's just, it's it's way too big. It's it's not for me. And then you get it in the hand and it's like, okay, you know what? This is okay. It's really not that bad. Um, another really unique thing about this knife is one of the things it comes with is kind of like a lanyard type thing right here. And what this is, is a pin that can screw up here in the handle. And let me see here, is it caught? What's going on here? I used it earlier just fine. Or does it, no, it should go through. Hmm, what's going on here? Does it have to be open? I don't think it does. No, I don't know what's going on. This is supposed to go through, and uh, and it doesn't. So, yeah, there is a sizing. Yeah, there's a, some type of sizing issue with this. Um, I will say this. I This is probably... Well, I don't know. Um, I don't know for some reason that won't fit. Whoever the winner is, I will make sure that the pin that comes with it will fit through. But yeah, this one is just not not going through very well. So that just kind of is what it is. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, not all knives are perfect. Um, but this knife at the end of the day is okay. Um, I And to be totally honest, I would never use this. I would probably throw this away in all honesty. I don't see any use for that um but i'm more of a folding knife guy i don't really have a need to make my folders fixed blades so that's just me um but anyway this is what you have you have a big knife with good action above average like considerably good action for what it is enjoyable flipper uh middle finger flicks good and very unique aesthetics so it really comes down to do you like the style of a knife? And if you like the style of a knife and you want to win one, um, all you have to do is comment with which one you want. So do you want the carbon fiber laminate or do you want the G10 version? Let me know in the comment. Simply commenting that enters you to win the knife and I will do the drawing next Friday. Pick ourselves a winner and someone will be winning a new knife. 
So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think of this, the Artisan Cutlery Proponent. Um, very unique design from Dirk Pinkerton, and one that will grow on you a little. I don't think it's for everybody, but I do think it is a pretty decent knife. Um, so there you go, guys. Let me know what you think about that. Comment which one you want, and uh, I will do the drawing next week for a winner. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and until the next one, I'm out.